Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of the Metal Forming Minute. My name is John Wickerchess and I'm here with Eunice Mark Cooper and we're here to discuss the SPR 2000 controller. So what do you have for us today, Mark? Well, John, this is our demo stand and it showcases all of our equipment for the metal forming market. So here we've got a standard roller unit. Here's one of our mini rollers. Here's a low volume spray nozzle. And this is our SPR 2000 controller. And the SPR 2000 controller is really the brains behind the whole thing. So it allows the users to program in the exact amount of fluid they want to apply for each individual job. So for example, if on, on job number one on the press, they want to roll a very light amount of oil onto the coil and spray a little bit into the die, you can program that into the controller and save that to memory. If on the next job you only needed to spray a little bit into the die, you could again program it in and everything is saved into memory, up to 250 different jobs. And John, the controller is really designed to ensure that a user is never down because of a lack of lubrication. So there are a number of safety features in place to prevent that from happening. There's a low fluid level alarm in the tank, so if the fluid the fluid runs low, it sounds an alarm in the controller. Um, we have optional flow sensors on our valves so that if uh, no fluid flows through the valves, it sounds an alarm. And we've also got um, an input sensing feature so that if an input from the, con from the press uh, is for some reason broken, it'll sound an alarm. And uh, those are all in place to make sure that the user is never down because of a lack of lubrication. So Mark, is there any other safety features that we need to know about? Yeah, John, the unit can be password protected. So when all those jobs are programmed and set in, the unit can be password protected to prevent tampering with, with any of those jobs. You can't change any of the settings. You can call up a new job, but you can't change any of the parameters in there. Um, you can also take it a step further and tie the controls into the uh, press controls of the press. Oh, nice. And uh, that way it removes the operator altogether. Whenever a new job is called up on the press control, it'll automatically change the job in our SPR 2000 controller. So Mark, it sounds like we have a real precise uh, system here. Yeah, definitely, John. When it comes to applying fluids and stamping presses, it's the most precise system there is. I'd say it's pretty, pretty common for us to reduce stamping fluid consumption by up to 50%. And if there's anybody who would like more information on these units or to see some success stories or some videos on the units in action, go to our website at unis.com.